Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. Okay, once the DVT clot is resolved, or to prevent a DVT like after surgery, specifically knee or hip replacement surgery, the patient's usually always placed on both long-acting and short-acting anticoagulant, like warfarin and heparin at the same time. But guys, this takes about two or three days to reach full effect. So we also give a rapid-acting anticoagulant to work right now during the hospital stay. This is our heparin or enoxaprin, which our brand name is Lovenox. These guys act immediately to thin the blood and can only be injected into the patient, never taken orally. And lastly, patients can also go home on antiplatelet medications like aspirin, but usually low dose baby aspirin, like 81 milligrams per day. And before I forget, Plavix is another antiplatelet commonly given. Guys, these help keep platelets from clumping together and forming a clot. All right guys, last but not least, I always like to give patient education tips, especially for the test, when you guys are giving blood thinners or something that doesn't make the blood clot. So guys, pay attention. These are huge test tips, write these down. So the big bleeding precautions that are always on the test and the must knows for the NCLEX. Here we go guys. And if you get confused, I put the drugs that they are most responsible for these at the top here. So no razor shaves, only electric shavers guys. No straining on the toilet. We're gonna use stool softeners because we don't want to bust a bowel here. No brushing the teeth too hard. Brush it nice and soft. Now the most at risk patients to bleed in any condition are always patients with liver problems. So guys, remember this by using the acronym CHAT. C for cirrhosis, H for hepatitis, a for alcoholism and T for Tylenol overdoses. All of these guys affect the liver, which makes the blood less likely to clot. And lastly, guys, vitamins, always an NCLEX favorite. These vitamins cause huge problems with bleeding out, especially on the operating table. So always ask your patients if they're taking these vitamins or herbal supplements before they go into any surgery. So we use the acronym EGO, like that old waffle commercial, Lego Ma Ego. Always let these go before surgery. E is for vitamin E in high doses, as well as echinacea. G is for ginkgo balboa, garlic, and ginseng. And O is for our omega-3 fish oils. Guys, those are huge NCLEX safety tips right there. I would write them down for your NCLEX. All right, guys, that wraps up our PAD, PVD, and DVT. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.